and triangle sum theorem and auxiliary lines. This is 4.3a. We're talking about triangle congruence. We have three previous videos that are linked in the geometry playlist in the description. So here's our triangle sum theorem. And the sum of the interior angle measures of a triangle is 180 degrees. So we have this triangle with vertices A, B, C. If we added the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C, it will total 180 degrees. If we add 40 and 60, that's 100, plus the 80 is 180. That's all triangles. And the proof of the triangle sum theorem uses an auxiliary line. An auxiliary line is a line that is added to the figure to help in a proof. So we would add it. Auxiliary means giving assistance. So we're going to draw a line that's going to give us some assistance. In the triangle sum theorem, we have a given for our proof here that we're given this drawing of triangle ABC. We need to prove that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180 degrees. We're going to make a flowchart proof. The first thing we do is draw L, our auxiliary line, parallel to AC through B. That's the parallel postulate. Then, angle 1 is going to be congruent to angle 4. This angle 1 is going to be congruent to this angle 4 because we think of segment AB as a transversal. So this would be a parallel line, this would be a parallel line, and AB would be a transversal. So 1 and 4, that's the alternate interior angles theorem, they're congruent. And if we think of BC as a transversal, we can say angle 3 and angle 5 are congruent because of the alternate interior angles theorem. And if they're congruent, they're equal, right? That's the definition of congruent angles. So we've got the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 4, and the measure of angle 3 is equal to the measure of angle 5. Now, if you look, we've got 2, 4, and 5 up here. And this is a straight line here, isn't it? So if we added the measure of angle 2 and 4 and 5, it should total 180 degrees, right? So the measure of angle 2 and 4 and 5 is going to equal 180 degrees. That's the angle addition postulate and definition of a straight angle. And these all bring us to that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees because of substitution. We know that 4 and 2 and 5 equal 180 degrees, and if 4 is equal to 1 and 5 is equal to 3, then we can say 1 and 2 and 3 are equal to 180 degrees. See? We substitute them in. Now, we can make three angle measures that have a sum of 180 degrees and use them to form a triangle. So I made these three angle measures, a 60 degree, a 70 degree, and a 50 degree, and they form a triangle. We can lay each on a straight angle to prove the interior angle measures of a triangle equal 180 degrees. So we can take our 70 degree measure and lay it here. We can take our 60 degree measure and put it right here. And we can take our 50 and put it here and look. It's 180 degrees. Now take a look at this diagram. We have this triangle JKL, it's giving us two angle measures. This one's missing. We need to find JKL, this missing measure. Well, we can see that the measure of JLK, the blue one, is 78 degrees, plus the measure of LJK, that's the 70 degree one, plus this JKL one that's missing. We know that if we add them together, it should equal 180 degrees because of the triangle sum theorem. So we substitute in our 78 for this one, our 70 for this one, and we add them together and get 148. Plus, this angle measure that's missing should equal 180 degrees. So now we just solve for the measure of angle JKL. We subtract 148 from each side of the equal sign, create a zero pair, and we're left with the measure of angle JKL is equal to 32 degrees. See? Triangle sum theorem says it's got to be 180. So if we've got two measures, we can add them together and subtract it from the 180 to find out what's missing, right? All right, this one's a little more involved. We can use this diagram to find the indicated angle measures. So 
look at all of these. We've got this auxiliary line coming here, LN, and we've got some angle measures, but not all of them. So if we need to find the measure of NKM, let's find that. NKM, so that's this missing measure right here. Look, we've got two measures. That means if we add the green one, KMN, plus the red one, MNK, plus the missing one, NKM, because of the triangle sum theorem, it should equal 180 degrees. So we substitute those values in and we add the 88 and 48 and get a 136. Added to this missing measure, it should equal 180. We subtract 136 from each side of the equal sign, create a zero pair here and eliminate this. And we're left with the measure of angle NKM is 44 degrees. So now we know that this is 44 degrees. Oops, my marker's not writing. Okay, so we know that one's 44. Now, let's see if we can find the measure of angle JLK. JLK, so that's going to be this one right here. The first thing we're going to do is find the measure of JKL, all right? So that's going to be this one up here. JKL is this one right here. And look, we've got a straight line, and we've got two angle measures, and only one is missing, and these should all equal 180 degrees, right? Right? Okay? So we know that the measure of angle NKM plus the measure of angle MKJ plus the measure of angle JKL will equal 180 degrees because that's the linear pair theorem and the angle addition postulate. This, all three of these angles will equal 180 degrees. So we can add the 44 that we just found to the 104 right here, and that's going to equal 148 if we add it to the missing angle measure it should be 180. We could subtract 148 from each side of the equal sign, eliminate this as a zero pair, and we're left with the measure of angle JKL is 32 degrees. So we know JKL is 32 degrees. So that's this one here. So now look. By finding this one, it helped us find that one. And now we need this angle measure. We could just add these two together, couldn't we? So now we can use substitution and then solve for JLK, the one that's missing. So we know JLK and JKL and KJL is equal to 180 degrees because of that triangle sum theorem. So this is the measure we're trying to find, JLK. We add the 32 we just found from here and the 70 that was given. We get 102 degrees. We know the measure of angle JLK plus that 102 degrees should equal 180 degrees. We subtract 102 from each side of the equation, and we get that the measure of angle JLK is equal to 78 degrees. So now we know that this one here is 78. Okay? Our next lesson, we have two corollaries to the triangle sum theorem. And that's going to be 4.3b, and we're going to talk about interior, exterior, and remote interior angles. So I hope you wrote the triangle sum theorem down, or, I don't know, put it somewhere in your notes or remember it. Try to hit the like button for me, because it really helps me out. I appreciate it. And keep trying. I'm proud of you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.